Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Adatullah with another new video. As we have started CSSF 2016 tutorial series and this is our lesson 18. And in our previous lecture, I have uh, completed many things about uh, CSSF. So if you're new here, you can watch that. And in our previous two videos, I have just started uh, to show that how we'll design and analysis our foundation. I mean, isolated foundation. Okay. So in this lecture, I'm just... Uh, design that analysis that and also design that and uh, we'll check everything that our uh, foundation is okay or not okay so i'll go in that direction and if you knew her you can watch our previous video and also if you're a civil engineer then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first so as in our previous video we have done everything okay now we'll just go for design here we'll go here for design so before design we have to save our model so desktop i'll just save in a folder isolated foundation okay isolated foundation if suppose say it okay if then save and it's analyzing our model so now uh see here now see here it's uh, giving us the data okay here it's giving us data and here it's uh, giving us for displacement uh, this is for dead load this is only 0 0.073 mm okay and uh, this is less than 1 mm our displacement okay it's showing us very low and uh, if we go here this is for only dead load okay this is for only dead load now i will just again unlock it okay then i will go here define then i'll go here load case okay and load first of all load pattern this is uh dead load and live load it's okay then we'll go ahead define uh load case it's okay live load dead load and we'll go for load combination so load combination and from here this is a total two load combination i will just delete that okay first of all delete combo and delete combo and from here i'll just mm, uh, select the default design combo so add now i will just select for uh extent ultimate okay so this is okay this is for uh extent ultimate and again i will add for service load normal then okay so so here is your load combination okay here is your uh, load combination so here it's showing us for service load that two and that two are for our here ultimate load combination so click here okay now again i'll go for run analysis so here is our model and uh this is showing displacement for only dead load now i'll go here display then show from here just uh we can see show a uh, different shape different shape and this is i'll select for load combination so if this is u1 and i'll select for u2 okay and from here it's uh, automatic and draw contours then apply so here we are showing that it's uh, giving us so for that point it's giving us our settlement is 21.4 mm okay and uh, our maximum settlement was our maximum settlement was 25 mm for isolated footing right this is for isolated footing that was 25 so this is okay so our, our foundation is okay now i will go for that combo apply now it's showing us very little then i'll select for that here it's showing also more little and also I'll select that this for service load and this is also showing only 13 mm also so this is our uh, in our displacement check uh, sorry our deferment or settlement check it's okay now we'll go for display now we'll go for our here we'll go here 
show low uh, sorry show reaction force so from here we'll go here okay and i'll select our combo this is actually the for that combo we'll get maximum load and from here i'll select soil pressure okay this is soil pressure and it's automatic and a display contour on different shape then i'll press apply so here just see here here uh, our maximum here we, if we see here our maximum of uh, deformation i mean sorry our maximum soil pressure is 171 kilonewton per meter square i mean 170 171 but if we see our pressure under footing that was 200 kips kilo pascal so our footing is also safe okay our footing is also safe so actually uh, when your value is not okay i mean uh, your uh, pressure or your deformation is not less than that value okay then you have to increase your foundation thickness okay i mean yeah, sorry you have to increase your foundation size okay you have to increase your foundation size now i'll go for some our other uh, two check are okay now or uh, finally i'll go here for our so i'll just click here show punching shirt design or simply display and click here show punching shirt design so click here now see here it's showing us our punching shirt design values 0.9774 and according to SCI code, we know that our punching shirt check value should be less than 1. Our punching shirt uh, value should be less than 1. Okay. And uh, it should be less than 0 0.5. This is very suitable. 0. Point less than 0 0.9. It's very suitable. But we are showing that, seeing that our uh, value is 0 0.9774. Okay. Our values. This is our value so actually what can we do here actually now uh, they have two way just we can increase our actually uh, when our footing or our design are failing in punch punching shirt check then we have to increase the thickness okay thickness of that slab or thickness of that foundation right now i will just uh, unlock it and i will modify that actually uh, here it's showing uh, our punching shirt check value is 0 0.97 it's okay also if you design with that data this is also okay but we'll go for maximum safety right we'll go for maximum safety so how do we do that first of all i'll select that slab okay i have selected or otherwise you can go ahead select then select then properties type then slab properties and from here you can select this is properties uh, footing properties then okay so you have selected that now we'll go for assign then slab data then uh properties okay so i'll select that and from here i will just go uh, modify data properties and from here i will just give her it's 275 i'll consider the 275 mm i'll increase one inch then okay again for that i will just uh, go here modify and here also i'll give it 275 sorry 275 mm then okay then okay so it's done actually now again we'll go for run analysis and we'll check that it's our punching share is okay actually our uh now uh again we'll go for display then show different shape and uh, for load combination our strength load combination will take that this is showing us 21 it's okay actually uh, our that value will be okay so actually again i'll go for here show reaction first and from here combination it's okay and from here soil pressure okay okay and apply it's showing us maximum on 740 it's okay actually actually uh, when we'll increase that size it will not change more its data okay I mean uh, it's a strength so I'll just close that now I'll go here by also clicking here you can found your punching shirt design and from here I'll go display 
show punching share data so uh, just it's it's showing us not calculated actually uh, I will close that here I'll close that and I'll just show the on different shape and here right click and I will see the load here our load is uh, okay here actually okay our load is okay now uh, here actually it's showing us that not calculated okay it's actually uh, maybe we have done a mistake here so let's check it S uh, select on here right click then see here its column is stiff it's okay then cancel then select here right click and sorry here we have done a mistake actually this is our footing okay this is our footing not column is stiff so simply uh, just will cancel that and will unlock here and right click on it then it's not column is stiff this is footing right so this is done now now uh, for footing just I'll select here and click on it and modify and from here I'll just give here 275 right this is uh, 275 275 mm click here then click ok also then click ok now again right click on it then from here column strip then change that column strip modify and from here give it uh, 275 275 and also here uh, just so this is this is column strip okay then press ok then uh, here then here uh, it's okay then click here okay so now uh, again click here okay so it's done okay we have uh, increased our uh, that's properties so in this way just we can increase that actually uh, in other way suppose select here select then from here properties then uh, slab properties then select footing then okay after that you can go here assign and uh, slab data properties and from here you can modify that okay and just when you will modify that when you will modify it just ensure that you have selected that data when you are clicking ok otherwise when you have uh, select column strip then uh, it will uh, consider as a column strip then a punching share will not consider here then press ok ok so like that way we can just work here sorry again maybe we have done a mistake so it's column st strip and it's footing so it's done now uh, this is column strip okay and this is for footing strip this also okay now we'll go for run analysis so it's done and uh, our every check is okay now we'll go for here punching share check now see here our punching share is 0. Point. Here it's showing punching share is 0 0.0809. So our punching share is also very very safe. So in this way, you can um, just change your uh, data according to requirement, and also you can reshape it. And very very be careful to select your data and change your data. Okay, otherwise you will face some problem like me. So uh, thank you, thank you very much. And if you think that that was helpful for you, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first so thank you thank you very much